Dozens of jazz listeners flocked to the Live Music Association last night for a musical performance. People were crowded in a small venue, with audiences standing and sitting at the corridor. Everybody was waiting for this long-awaited moment performed by the Bridge Jazz Band. This band was established in late 80s with the oldest saxophone player already reaching 80 years old. In fact, their impact was so profound that they still inspire many young generations to become jazz players. The president of Macau Jazz Club stresses that the lack of performance spaces is hindering the development of the local music industry. Uh, I think uh, and I see that there is a growing interest in, the, in jazz music, particularly among the younger generation, uh, particularly also of some uh, local musicians uh, that they they uh, start learning maybe uh, serious music in Macau and then they try to, you know, go out and have uh, maybe some more, uh, you know, learning jazz uh, somewhere else where they can actually play regularly because uh, the problem in Macau is that either because the audience is small or because there's uh, no, no really, uh, not really a, a place for regular performances. Uh, there's no jazz club, as you know. Uh, so uh, it's very difficult for our musicians in Macau to find uh, enough uh, uh, stage time or stage opportunity to perform. Humphrey Jern, one of the senior players in the band, says the industry is actually deeply linked to the social situation. One interesting thing is that jazz music is deeply related to the social economic situation. For example, if the economy is going down, then the government won't provide as many subsidies and the number of live jazz shows would drop. And if the government gives more subsidies under a better economic situation, then there would be so many more associations related to jazz music, more concerts and live shows. In the coming four months, the local bridge jazz band will bring in a series of live jazz concerts at Live Music Association every Sunday.